I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blind you. I just, I just blinded somebody. Guys, I'm sorry. Hey guys, back to Wayne here, and we are at the supermarket. I just bring the kids down here to grab some goodies. They give away, give away goodies. Here's where DJ works. And we're off to go do what, Con? <laughs> we're off to go do what? We're gonna go trick or treating, guys, with a one year old and an almost three year old. And a bubble bee dog. And a bubble bee. Don't make it on my dog, man. So even the dog has a costume on there. Let me guess, your first trick or treat walking by yourself, right? Yes, <laughs> very you first. Trick or treat. Good job. <laughs> Do you need one for your little sister? Or is that your little brother down there? Little brother. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blind you. I just I just blinded somebody. Guys, I'm sorry. Got told off by a two year old. This is our hundred and fourteenth house, guys. We have two sacks. Well it feels like it. Trey, you have a lot of candies. <laughs> oh, he's gonna give you one. That's pretty bad. Oh, he's gonna pick one out right now. All right. Thank you. Oh. Can you say trick or treat? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you would have got some of those, huh? Is that a spider man? <laughs> Come on, baby. So, Nana, we're supposed to be going to <laughs> so far I've seen Dracula. I've seen the Scarecrow from The Wizard Elsa. of Oz. I've seen uh, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger? I saw Elsa. It's weird that we've seen Freddy Krueger out here because he's like, like an old time oh, dude from my days. I see a witch over there. That's your wife. No, no, I'm just it's not my wife. It's <laughs> <laughs> your wife. I hate you, Chris. You said it. You said the same thing. What? Are you are you a witch? No. What are you? A bride of darkness. A what? Bride of darkness. Let's see. Let's see how cool you look. You look cool. And uh, what are you? Oh, cool. You guys look cool. Okay, let's go this one. This how last house we went to, guys. It said, um, we barely seen it. It said, please stay off the grass, stay on the sidewalk. I mean, what do you guys think about that? I don't know how I feel about that. How do you guys feel about it? I feel like their grass is already dying. So. I mean, it's October. The grass is dying already. It's, it's gonna getting cold. Like tomorrow. We're supposed to have a freeze here. Actually, it's supposed to snow on Monday, and today is Friday. It's, it's just crazy. I don't know. They want their grass to look good for the next four days. <laughs> yeah, for the next four days. <laughs> it's going to die anyway here in four days, but stay off my grass. Okay, guys. I have a question for you. What do you guys think about age-wise and trick-or-treating? You're a 20-year-old dog. Just with when I was, when I was um, 11, I think it was, that was actually pushing the age for trick-or-treating when I was growing up, so I quit about that age. And then it became going to parties. Yeah, I was like 15. Well, then we used to go to Halloween parties after that. No, I went, you know? went trick-or-treating when I was 15. And uh, Connie says she went trick-or-treating when she was 15 years old. She was an old lady, trick-or-treating. What do you guys, put in the comments below, what do you guys think would be the cutoff age for trick-or-treating? This one I know. It smells like skunk out here, guys. I'm serious. Pew. So, <laughs> yes. I heard uh, Christina. Christina is going to uh, throw up here on the side of the street because of the. It smells so bad. It smells like Judy's wet dog. Oh my god. Uh huh. So Christina's gagging. I think it's time to leave. She's gonna throw up on all the trick or treaters. So I hope you guys had a good time on this short vlog of ours, of us trick-or-treating with the kids. We walked a few blocks, and now we're going to go eat some Subway, I believe. Right, Subway? Yeah. Subway. And she's still <laughs> dry, dry heaving. The dry heaves, you know dry heaves, where they go, Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. Ah, I tell you guys. 
but it's a good time, though, bringing the, the kids out. They've, this is the first year, really, a tray has kind of caught the concept of it. Here, here's this. I'll open it. Yeah. Don't mess up my hair, woman. Oh, God. I'm serious. You can't mess up a mess. My hair is like the perfectest, beautiful hair in the world. So, um, after going out and uh, trick-or-treating with the kids, Christina's turning us to dinner tonight. Thank you, Christina. You're welcome, Pooh. See? Get no respect. You call me Foo. Foo. <laughs> Trey's still practicing his trick or treat routine. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand it ends after tonight. So, yeah, um, no, I've been no. vlogging every every now and then, making sure it's on. Uh, Fridays I get one for sure up. I've had my health problems going on, and I hate to 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 be feeling my health problems or telling you guys about it because I, I, I want to be positive and I try to be positive to everything but there's some days I'm a big grouch and you don't want to hang out with me on those days. Ask Connie. He's a <laughs> I didn't say that. Christine. Don't say that. Why? Yes. When I'm a grouch, I'm just me, right? No, you're, you're like a brown eye then. <laughs> don't say that. No, honey, I'm serious though. we got to be real. You're a butt. I'm not. Yeah, you You're are. The brown eye of the butt. Yes. Why would you say that? I I, I get grumpy. Okay, that's Why all. Why would we say that? I get grumpy. Because you are grouchy. Nobody can do anything right. It doesn't matter how right we do it. It's still wrong. It's just prepared? like this. I don't know if any of you ever have chronic pain or been in pain real bad, and I've been in like crazy me. pain, like we're not getting out of bed pain for. For a week, maybe two weeks, I've been in bed. So tonight I'm finally feeling better, but I wasn't feeling that great this morning. So I was like that this morning too. I was pretty mean this morning. So that's why I don't turn on the camera when I get like that. And I've been mean for about two weeks, and I don't mean to be mean. It's just that I get mad when I'm in pain, and I just get snappy. to be mean. No, I get snappy. I think so. I get snappy. I think there are days when you are intentionally just that way. No. Yeah, because you know you can get away with it and we're all just going to walk away. No. So I think from now on we should start challenging you when you turn into that. Well, y'all going to stand around me with sticks and hit me in the head? Well, that's a good idea, right, Chris? I think I can hit Mom, too. You shut up. You're mean to me, too. I'm going to be mean to you. That's one thing you guys don't know about Connie. Ever since I met her, I've been going out with her, and I married her. She's the rudest girl I've ever met. She will just come fly off the wall with these rude comments, and I'm like, don't be that way. As she, she like says, I'm good at it, so I might as well stick with it because no, I'm a I'm professional. No, I'm a smart aleck. And I'm very good at being a smart aleck, so, you know. So why are you? Why do you do that? Is it something, you find something it, you're good at, you stick with it. But is it something that happened in your childhood that made you so mean? Oh, my God. That's not even good. Let's, let's no. talk about this. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. You're so mad at me. Ethan, 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 hi. What are you doing, huh? Yeah. 